How's it going, everybody? We're back again on a lovely Tuesday for an episode of Speed Duel today. Too Fast, Too Duelist is the name of the series, and I'm here with my co-host, Dakota. Hello. Hello, indeed. How are you today? Uh, feeling pretty good. It's getting hot in here already. I had to turn on the AC. Yeah, I'm feeling it too. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, we are a smaller YouTube channel. If you're new here or if you've been here for a while, we would please ask that you leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe if you are so willing. We do like to see some engagement down there, and we have been engaging with comments. Anything ranging from things you liked during the episode, things you may have had a problem with, some misplays you didn't or we didn't catch, anything you just want to talk about. If you have ideas for future episodes or series, you know, leave it, leave it down at the bottom. We'll get to it as soon as we see it, and we'll have some discord. So with uh, the formalities out of the way, this is a speed duel series, as I said before, where we have a wheel of all the skills in speed duel, and we each spin the wheel one time, land on a skill, and then we take 20 minutes to build a deck around said skill. After said 20 minutes are up, we come back together for a best two out of three match to see who built the better deck or who got screwed over harder. Last week, it was me. <laughs> yes, I had my first one on the channel in nearly two months. And it only took you, you playing got, uh, Helios to do it. You got royally wrecked. Yeah, those cards are I terrible. Even, I even could have lost game two. Um, yeah. if, if so, I don't know what I could have done, really, that was different. I mean, I don't even know how I could have built that deck to be even better, except just go way off topic and just build something completely different. Just skip Helios in general. Don't even play your skill. Yeah. <laughs> I did that once. But... Or twice. <laughs> four, four times. <laughs> Who's counting? So, uh, all that said, are you ready to get to the wheel? Yes, sir. I'll take a spin. The wheel. The wheel of names. So many cards. All right. First card is Viral Infection. Too soon, dude. Too soon? Too soon. It's a Kaiba card. Oh, is this like Crush card or something? Wow. He has a giant mouth in that photo. Well, I have it pulled up already. So Viral Infection, Kaiba skill. For skill activation, flip this card over when you activate this skill. For the effect, once per turn, discard any number of cards and declare one type of card, monster, spell, or trap. Your opponent sends one card of the declared type from their deck to the graveyard for each discarded card. If you do that, flip this card over. Okay, so you can, you can do this every turn if you want to, but you can force me to deck out if you want to. But I have to discard, so it's like... Just play more cards than me. <laughs> we only start with four cards. <laughs> <laughs> I meant deck. I'm gonna I'm going to uh discard four cards from my hand to make you mill four cards and uh I pass the turn. No, like play cards that make you draw, but play more cards in your deck than me. This is gonna take uh quite the creativity to come up with something to work with this. Um I have no idea how to even get started with uh, a strategy like this. But uh yeah, uh, a couple different approaches. Uh maybe some like stall cards, uh cards that just keep me alive, mm. maybe some life point gain cards. Um, I believe the card was called Mystic Mine. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine Mystic Mine and Speed Duels? What a slog this would be. No, I don't want to. The closest I've that we got Mystic Mine. The closest that we got to that was like when I played Gate Guardian. That was kind of like Mystic Mine. <laughs> kind of, yeah. So, all right, Viral Infection. No crush card though. I d uh no. I don't even think it's even in the game. Oh, all right. We'll take another spin and we'll we'll see what you uh get. Oh, that's pretty close. Uh, it's no monster. It's a god. Seto Kaiba. I think this is it, dude. Did, did I fucking, actually get you the did it. skill? <laughs> the trifecta. Dude. Wow. That's great. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to lose this week, but that's awesome. This would be an no interesting uh, episode for us. It's uh, Kaiba playing with himself. How are you, how you going to... It's time to duel. Draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't the fake kaiba like a big fat guy yeah i forget his name how does that even work i don't know it's one thing I to have know. like a kaiba mask on and have it be like one of those mission impossible masks where it's like really authentic but like your body shape is completely different too yeah okay i have it here it's no monster it's a god kaiba skill for skill activation flip this card over when you activate this skill for the effect activate this skill during your main phase Discard, hey, we're both discarding. Discard any number of cards, minimum one, then add one Obelisk the Tormentor from deck or graveyard to your hand. This skill can only be used once per duel. 
why is it that kaiba gets one that searches a god card but you only have to discard one while merrick has to discard his entire hand yeah and Nuki doesn't even get to search out slifer for his effect slifer had to be in your hand already because it just lets you do a normal an extra normal summon or an extra tribute summon or whatever that turn wasn't that like on the field if you have slifer on the field you get to draw, you can draw until up you have to four six. i'll tell you i thought it was six it might be four but yeah but the other one was you can um if you do this effect you can make an extra tribute summon this turn or something Okay. The Yuki doesn't even get to search Slifer. Well, uh, you didn't even have to. You fucking went through like half your deck when you did that, just going through all the night. And I still didn't draw Slifer. Those knights were really efficient when you played it. I did pull a Merrick though. When I played the Merrick skill with Raw, I opened with Raw in my, it was like the first card in my hand. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly how his opening hand is okay. in the anime when they duel. He's like, yes, excellent. My God card is already in my hand or whatever. That'd be a brick in the modern game. You'd rather search it than have it in your hand. No, just do what he does. Just open raw, uh, play a card that lets you discard it, and then open Monster Reborn also, and there you go. Turn two in. I wouldn't say turn two. It's how it worked in the anime if they didn't have protagonist luck. I don't think that Merrick could uh, contest the uh, Baron de Floor in the modern game now. Oh, I would love to see that. Um, isn't like the the anime lore that Kaiba is like the main card producer now, Kaiba Corp? Well, that would explain why his skill card is so much that's better why, than Merrick. And that's why there's so many cards that are better than God cards now. <laughs> the God cards got nerfed because Kaiba can't have them. <laughs> have we not had a Kaiba card yet? I don't think so. Wow. Uh, Yeah, you're right. We haven't. That's weird. And we got both in one episode. Considering he probably has like four of these cards all just for him. I can't believe I got that. That's insane. <laughs> we just talked about it like two weeks ago. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So now I gotta come up with a third way to get bodies on the board. <laughs> yeah. God damn. The knight. The knight, man. Yeah. At least I can add obelisk. That actually might not be a bad strategy because I can actually search obelisk now. Yeah. Ooh, I might have options this time. Honestly, like in a limited format like this, uh, obelisk is probably the best one because he actually has protection. Oh, yeah. Raw is definitely the worst. And then um, a setting where you only have 4,000 life points anyway. Yeah. You take one hit and Raw is just useless then. All right, so we got uh, Kaiba versus Kaiba. Kaiba, Kaiba, Kaiba. You know what? This is kind of on par for Kaiba, though. His his biggest demons are always himself and his family. True. Yeah. It was only Mokuba that was holding him together. Yeah. What if we did something funny here where it's like, I'm Kaiba and the thumbnail, like in Battle City Kaiba, and you're the dueling computer that had blue eyes on the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll both just do this entire episode with our Kaiba impersonations. Mokuba! <laughs> Pokuba. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, what should uh, what do you say? Get into the game. Yeah. All right. Timer starts now. Duelists, one and all, my inferior opponents. It is I, your world champion. Still, we don't count that one time. That wasn't an official tournament duel. It is I, Seto Kaiba. I am here with my newest uh, ability. I have forsaken the Blue Eyes White Dragon for the ultimate power in Duel Monsters. The Egyptian God card, Obelisk the Tormentor. Let's go win some tournaments. So I'm running the third God card skill. I don't know how I've gotten this lucky, if you want to call it that. But uh, the gods have deemed me their champion, and I don't believe in that fairy tale hocus pocus nonsense. So I'm just going to win for me. I have two Obelisks, the Tormentors. Uh, I know it breaks cannon, but follow me here. Two, sorry, three Reactor Slime. So he's a good way to get extra tokens on the field. And during the battle phase, I can tribute him and he will play a metal reflex slime from my graveyard deck or hand. Card advance, so I'm not playing very many monsters, but there's a reason for that. Card advance lets me look at the top five cards of my deck and then put them back in any order. And then I can conduct a tribute summon in addition to normal summoning that turn. Fiend Sanctuary. So I have three of these. Let's me summon a metal fiend token. It can't attack. And any damage I take from battles involving it, Dakota would take instead. But once per turn, if it's still on the field during my standby phase, I pay a thousand life points or destroy it. However, I do not plan on keeping them on the field very long. Three copies of Nightbeam, just for some good back row removal that he can't really answer to. Soul Exchange, if I'm somehow having trouble getting monsters on the board, or if he's taking them down faster than I can get them, I can just tribute some of his, or one of his monsters instead. Floodgate to lock down some of his monsters and make them just not factors in the duel primarily, just waste board space. Three metal reflex slimes puts a big defensive wall up on the field. Works with reactor slime. I can summon obelisk with him. 
And finally, for another monster that's also a trap, I have Zoma. Yeah, like I said, it's a trap that's also a monster. It's got decent stats for a uh, a trap monster and that insane burn effect. If to go to playing aggressive, that could come back to burn him. All right, so side deck time. I wanted a win gone that wasn't Oblis the Tormentor. I know, I know, sacrilegious, sue me. So we're going with evil hero, Melissa, malicious edge. As long as Dakota controls a monster, I can tribute him for one tribute and I have plenty of ways to get one token or monster on the field. And if he attacks a defense position monster, it does piercing battle damage, along with his good stats of 2600 attack. Dark World Lightning, just more back row removal or monster removal if they're set, and it just at the cost of discarding one card. And a hero emerges. This is a good way to cheat out uh, Malicious Edge if I decide to side him in. You, you've seen us use that card plenty of times now. The extra deck, we joked about it uh, when we were getting the skills around. When I played Slifer, I played the Knight strategy. So I thought I would just throw Arcane and Knight Joker in the extra deck to maybe throw Dakota off. They can think I'm playing Knights again and not this strategy I have cooked up here. So yeah, that's the deck. You know, it's Obelisk beat down sort of with Malicious Edge as a backup. So I'm going to have no problem getting these six locator cards. It is my tournament after all. Honestly, I don't know how that twerp Joey got in here. Now, has anybody seen my brother? I've lost him again. Mokuba! All right, guys, we're back after 20 minutes, and I got a really weird deck here to show you. So for my skill card, it involves me having to discard cards, declare a card type, and then Cody has to ditch that many cards from his deck to the grave. So kind of like a deck out thing. Um, but I have like a couple of different ways to achieve that sort of. So we're playing two copies of Golden Ladybug. It's all that we can play, but I can reveal it, gain 500 life points. So if I have both, I get to gain a thousand life points. That's going to keep me alive a little bit longer. We're playing three copies of Cyber Valley. If he tries to attack this, I can just banish it, draw a card and end the battle phase. Next, we're playing three copies of Marauding Captain. So this is a kind of an interesting card. Uh, so on normal summon, I can special summon a level four or lower and what I'm trying to achieve is having two of these in hand and then one special summon the other. And then it creates this lock where your opponent can't attack either one of them because one is protecting the other. So as long as I can get two of these on the field, Cody can't even attack me anymore. And so from there, I'll definitely just win by deck out. Next, we're just playing a bunch of different trap cards. We're playing three copies of Woboku to keep my monsters on the field and also not take battle damage. Three copies of Draining Shield to negate an attack and then gain the attack as life point. Three negate attack, it just negates the attack and then immediately ends the battle phase three security orb when my opponent declares an attack i can target that monster change its battle position also if this card is uh set and it gets destroyed i can destroy a monster on the field three copies of the forceful checkpoint so when my opponent declares an attack i get to look at my opponent's hand if there's a monster in there i negate the attack and i get to discard the uh the monster so pretty versatile pretty good card we're playing one zoma i think zoma is pretty much showing that it's a very scary threat when it comes to speed duels i understand now why it's at one we're playing three copies of windstorm it just changes the battle position of all my opponent's monsters so if he switches everything to attack i can put them all on defense survive another turn finally we're playing three copies of widespread ruin if he tries to declare an attack i can destroy one monster that he controls with the highest attack we're pretty much just playing this deck to stay alive uh this is probably going to be a really long game uh unless he has like answers for all these cards pretty much the goal is right off the gate i know that he's probably going to be playing 20 cards i mean why wouldn't you it's very standard so we're playing 30 cards so right out the gate it doesn't even matter if i go second and get the additional draw i'm still going to have more cards in my deck and i can win by deck out like that plus then if i have plenty of card advantage if i have three cards set face down and they're all guaranteed to keep me alive i can just discard any additional cards from my hand to make him lose cards from his deck and speed up the game a little bit faster that way but uh yeah i think uh cody's probably gonna have a a little bit of trouble dealing with a deck like this and uh, he won't really know what to do the first time that he faces it so i'm expecting a fairly simple game on game one and i think uh side decking for game two and three is gonna be where this gets very interesting but yep that's the deck uh, I'm curious to see how this is going to go. Uh, I've never played anything like this before, but uh, I don't know. We're going to have fun with it, though. All right, bud, here we are. After 20 minutes, we got game one about to start. How is your deck building experience? Oh, simple for a man of my stature and uh, importance, you know, running Kyber Corp. No big deal. <laughs> no big deal. 
Well, this was actually very tough with me. Um, I think you finished with like still like six minutes to spare or something. Something like that. Yeah, I had to use up all the time. <clears throat> this was very tough. <laughs> oh boy, what do I want here? Let's try going first. We'll see how that goes. All right. Immediately discard four. <laughs> no, not quite. Uh, we're gonna go standby phase and I'm gonna reveal the golden ladybug. Okay. I'll go ahead and add 500. We'll go to main phase. Let's go ahead and we'll set one. We'll set two and I'll pass it back. Okay. Standby to main. I'm going to activate night beam. Targeting. Target the middle one. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so you're going to hate that I paused for this. What? Uh, I'm going to activate a second night beam. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh my God. That's more than fine. Why did you pause so long for something like that? Jeez. Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that now or save it. I was I... looking at all the plays in my hand. Oh, okay. All 15 plays in my hand with three cards. Cook your cook combo. <laughs> Next, I'll normal summon Rector Slime. Okay. And I will declare its effect. Sure. I will end the main phase by setting a card, proceeding to battle. Yep. A tag. That actually four five. Okay. Then what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna activate its second effect, take it to the graveyard to be able to set a metal effect slime from my deck. Proceed to end phase. Okay. And I will actually activate that in the end phase. All right. Move you here, put you into defense. Your turn. I will draw. We'll go standby to me or uh, standby. Uh, we'll do the uh, ladybug. That is fine. In main phase, let's go ahead and I'll normal summon Cyber Valley. That's all you had? That's that's my turn. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Standby to main. I want to put this in attack. I'm going to go battle. Sure. I'm going to attack. I'll use the effect. That's fine. I will pass turn. I will draw. Uh, standby phase. I'll Open. activate the effect. You gain five. Uh, yes. And then I will set one and I'll set two and I'll pass it back. Okay. Standby to main. Sure. Okay. Okay. Battle phase. Sure. Attack for five. Uh, I'll take it. Attack for five. I'll take that. End turn. Draw. We'll go standby to... Oh, wait. Standby. We'll do the effect again. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we'll go to main phase. I'll go ahead and I'll set another card. Jeez. All right. And I'll pass the turn. <laughs> Jeez. Standby to main. Yep. Battle? Five. I'll take it. Five. I'll take that. Pass. <laughs> uh, we'll go standby phase and it's I'll activate no monster. the effect. <laughs> it's a token. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is going to be one of those episodes. <laughs> is it? It doesn't have to be. You're the one stalling us out here. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, we'll go to main phase and um well we're gonna be in a pickle once you get that second golden ladybug because then we're just gonna be chipping away for nothing yeah one of us will have to do something yeah not gonna be me nobody <laughs> I, move i pass <laughs> stand by to main sure i'm gonna do something he's doing something i'm gonna set battle sure five uh, i'll take it if you're five, 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 I'll be at 3,000. Leave me hanging there. <laughs> <laughs> There's no 666 here. I don't know what you want from me. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, with that, I'll end turn. Maybe bring the joke back later when we have uh, both six, six cards in our hand. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll go standby phase. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize you are playing way more cards than me. Yeah, dude. You just now <laughs> saw that, man. I just now saw that. Uh, we'll go to main phase. Straight chilling again. 
Uh, I think for now, yeah, I'm just, I'm just chilling. <laughs> I don't know. I might actually uh, build this deck uh, for physical. Go to locals with this and just annoy the shit out of people. Stand by, two main. Fine. I think they've outlived their usefulness. The tokens coming out. God card. Whoa. God card. Cards and effects cannot be activated, and neither player can target it. God card. <laughs> battle? In the battle phase, I'll activate Windstorm. All right, that's fine. Okay. Uh, with that, I asked you. Okay, I will draw. Go standby. We will reveal. Okay. Gain five. Go to main phase. Let's go ahead and set a card. And we will pass it back. Stand by to main. Sure. I'm going to get a set down. And we're going to attempt again. Battle phase. Windstorm. Okay. Your move. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw. We'll go standby phase. <laughs> yes. There it is. There it is. Yeah, it's the ultimate power. <laughs> uh, uh, from here, let's just uh, go ahead and set a card. Let's go ahead and we'll activate my skill. I will discard okay. one card. Trap. I will declare spell. Okay. So I have to discard that many spells from my deck? Are they my choice? Yes. One card. Okay, so I have to send a spell to the graveyard now. Yes. All right, and then this will get set, and I will pass the turn. Okay. Stand by two main. Sure. We're going to go round three. <laughs> Attack mode. Sure. Battle phase. That's fine. Swing. Uh, widespread ruin. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Is it? Does it sound okay? It's okay. <laughs> you know when they tell you that you're, you get, how does that thing go? You have to say you're fine, but you're not fine. <laughs> you Katie used Perry. it on me the other. You <laughs> used it on me. Is that actually who says that? Yeah, Katie Perry. I have no idea who's actually saying that. Yeah, it was Katie Perry. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if I can step back into my stupor for a second, you know, you used <laughs> it on me the other week, and <laughs> yeah, pass. All right, I will draw. We'll go standby. Yep, yep. Let's go, yeah, we'll go to uh, main phase. And I think from here, what I'll do is I will set a card and pass it back. All right. During the end phase. Sure. We got a Zoma. Uh, that is fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got six cards in hand now. Can I do the joke yet? Uh, Not until I get six cards. So you got to stop playing your cards. Well, hurry the hell up. <laughs> I don't have any draw cards. I think I misplayed. <laughs> it's uh, quite the lie. pickle that you're in, aren't you? I'm not going to lie. I think I misplayed. Do you have any monsters in your deck? What are you talking <laughs> about? Cyber Valley's in there. I know, but like, holy the, hell. I got the Golden, the golden ladybug. ladybug. But the purpose of Golden Ladybug isn't to summon it. Do you have any monsters you can actually <laughs> summon to like win? What's your, what's your win con here? Deck out? <laughs> yeah. Man. That's what the skill does. It uh. makes you lose cards from your deck. I'm going to go attack. Sure. Uh, stay by bait first, I guess. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, attack mode. I'm also going to normal summon reactor slime, but I will not use its effect. Okay. I don't think I can. No, yeah. you can't. It has to be two. Yeah, summon two. Yeah. What about battle phase? Sure. I will swing in for five. I will take it. I will swing for 18. Uh, let's activate Draining Shield. Okay, so that just cancels out. Well, the the uh, attack is negated too, so it's just nothing but yeah. positives for me. All right, I will end my turn. I will draw for turn. Go standby. Yep, yep. Do your do your thing. The most life points that anyone has ever had on speed duel. Maybe. Uh, we'll go to main phase, and uh, I'll just set a card back to you. Stand by to main. 
I'm pretty sure uh, I started this recording as soon as we started the game, and we're already at 20 minutes. This is game one. Well, it's mostly been me thinking and stalling the game out, but... Yep. I think I'm going to activate my seal card. Oh, you got another obelisk in here. Well, it's from deck or graveyard. Oh, I didn't even see that part. Yeah. All right. So I'll pitch card advance to bring the obelisk in my graveyard to my hand. Any response? Nope. Okay. okay. Let's activate Feed Sanctuary. And then round two, baby. He's here again. Round two. Uh, I'm going to go right to battle phase. And I'm going to hit some troublesome back row. I knew it. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll draw. So stand by. That's crazy. I can take two attacks from Obelisk the Tormentor. So the third would kill you, but. um, I'll go ahead and I'll set a card. And I'll pass it back. Stand by two main. Sure. Battle. Sure. Tempt. I will activate the forceful checkpoint. Show me that hand. Um, how do I sh how do I reveal a hand? Oh, it's <laughs> down here, show. Yeah. So if there look at your opponent's hand and if there is a monster, negate the attack, then discard a monster from their hand. Well, guess what, buddy boy? No monsters to be wow, seen. Wow, look at that. <laughs> yep. All right, all right. <clears throat> I'll take 4K. All right. Finally got an attack to go through, and your life points are still not going down at all <laughs> on that bar. We still have a surplus of, of life points. Man. You know, stocks took a hit today, but we're on the up. True, true. With that, I'll pass turn. I will draw. We'll go standby. Go to main phase. Let's go ahead and I'll normal summon Cyber Valley. Uh, I'm going to floodgate that. I had a feeling you had that. Should have floodgated the first one, but. Uh, With that, I'll just, I'll pass the turn. All right. Stand by to main. Sure. I'm going to start with Night Beam. Which one do I want to take? 50-50, man. 50-50, they both probably stop my attack in some way. That was negate attack. Yep, so I was half right so far. Let's get a set quick. All right. I'll go battle. Sure. I'll attempt to swing in. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have nothing else. End turn. I would roll. Go standby phase. Yee -yee. We'll go to main phase. Is this still game one? This is still game one. Oh my god. We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and I'll set a card. And I'll pass it back. Okay. Stand by to main. Sure. Battle. Okay. Swing batter batter. Uh I'll try the forceful checkpoint again. Well, unfortunately for you. Yes, there we go. Get that card out of here. Only have one target. With that, I will pass. And I will draw. We'll go standby. Reveal, reveal. We'll go main phase. And uh, let's activate my skill. All right. Let's go ahead and we'll discard. Choose wisely, my friend. One of the ladybugs. And I'll try spell. I don't even know what it is, so we're gonna find out together. Yeah, I don't. I have no clue. It is not a spell. Damn. Do I, have to, do I have to reveal it to you, or? Mm, it doesn't say it, so I would say no. Yeah, it is not a spell. Oh well. Um, Scouts on there. Yeah, shuffle that one card for me. Thanks, Dueling Book. Yeah. <laughs> I will just. Uh, I'll set a card, and uh, I'll set another card. Pass it back. All right. Stand by two main. Yep. To prove to you it was not a spell card, I will not use that card. Normal summon Reactor Slime. 
Mm, okay. Battle? I'll activate Windstorm. <laughs> I'll just pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs>about a game two game two what's it gonna be there bud i don't know i checked the log that last duel lasted 29 turns 30 minutes and 33 seconds hell yeah man <laughs> jesus all right we're locals we got like what 10 minutes left we gotta hurry <laughs> <laughs> the one time that we don't have a watcher i'll go first all right stand by the main door i set two i've got a pass all right, I'll take a draw. We'll go standby to main. Let's go ahead and set one, set two, and set three. Standby to main. Sure. I've got a set. I've got a pass. All right, I will draw. Go standby to main. I think I got a pass as well. Standby to main. Sure. I got nothing. All right, I will draw. Go standby domain. Let's activate my skill. And let's go ahead and we'll discard one, two, and eh, fuck it. Three. <laughs> I'll declare monster. All right. All right. Uh, from there, I will pass the turn. All right. Stand by the main. Sure. Normal reactor. Sure. Declare effect. That's fine. Battle phase. Sure. I will swing for five. Um, I'll activate security orb. All right, target monster change bounces at this site card is destroyed. Okay, so I just change just to defense. Okay, I got a pretty full board today, and it can't do shit. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> buddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we'll go stand by to main. Let's... Uh, I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll... Uh, Make your move. <laughs> I'll set a card. What is taking so long? <laughs> I'll set a card, and I'll activate my skill. All right. Well, I'll you're going for the quick one this time. I'll pitch this one and I'll declare monster. I'll pass. I will activate my skill as well. I will pitch. Oh, sorry. I need to be in main phase for that. Stand by to main cool. Yeah. Okay. I will pitch Fiend Sanctuary. Bring back my obelisk to my hand. I will then. Take off my monsters and tokens to normal summon my obelisk. He is a big beefy boy. He is big. He is going into the battle phase. He has his score to settle. Uh, Waboku. <laughs> he is going to attack anyway. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, proceed end phase. All right. I will draw. We'll go standby to main. Oh uh, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's uh, let's just set a card. Back to you. Okay, stand by the main. Sure. I'm going to activate Metal Reflect Slime. Okay. Just move it over here quick, and then I'll put in the, the, the defense. Um, not anymore, because I'm sacking off. I'm going to, because you control a monster, I can tribute for one tribute for Evil Hero Malicious Edge. Hey, look at that. <laughs> now, I activate Night Beam. Targeting okay. that. Uh, that is fine. Okay. I activate Night Beam, targeting that. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Battle phase. Evil yeah. hero, get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obelisk, <laughs> get in there. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yes. Fucking nailed it. <laughs> Third rate duelist. <laughs> All right, All right game three. Boy, game three, your yeah. move. Um, I think I'm going to take the setup for this one. All right. How long was game two? A whole hell of a lot shorter. 
Gain two. Oh, it, oh, it keeps track of turns. 39. Does it tell you? No, it doesn't differentiate when the games are, I don't think. Uh, no, I think it's like all turn based. That's dumb. Okay, you've got set two? Got set two, and I got and the ladybug. Lady okay. I pass. Excuse me. All right. I've got a set. Oh, stay by the main. I do that a lot of this game. I have a normal summon declare effect. That's fine. I'm actually not limited to what I summon them in, so I can actually put them in attack mode. That's true. I'm going to go right to battle phase then. Okay. I'm going to swing with token one. Windstorm. You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, well. Life points are protected. Not that it matters, because that is not the goal of your deck at all. Nope. <laughs> um. All right. I'll end turn. All right. I will draw. Go standby phase. Fine. And we'll go main phase. Mm -hmm. I'll set one. I'm going to normal summon. Ooh. The Marauding Captain. Whoa, that's new. Yeah. You haven't seen this Launches card yet. Your opponent control cannot target warriors for attacks except this one when this card is normal summon. So just summon a level four lower monster from your hand. Well, do you want to summon Gate Lady Golden Ladybug? I do not know. Uh, but I will go battle. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and declare on this. Uh, fine. Okay. And I will pass the turn. All right. Let's go standby to main. Sure. I'm going to set a card and then I'm going to activate my skill. Okay. I will pitch Fiend Sanctuary to bring an Obelosk from my deck to my hand. Okay. I will then activate Fiend Sanctuary. That is fine. I will then sack off my tokens for Obelosk. That is also fine. Okay. I will go to the battle phase. Sure. I will attempt to attack. Widespread. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Your move. All right. I will draw. We'll go standby. Nothing. Reveal. All right. Let's go to main phase. Okay. And uh, let's set a card. And let's go battle. Didn't think I was going to be uh, actually doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to activate Reflect Slime. Okay. We'll do here. Put you, maybe. Put you in defense. All right. Uh, I'll just pass the turn. Okay. I'm just going to chill. Okay. I will draw. Go standby. Reveal. We'll gain 500. And we'll go mm -hmm. to main phase. From here, let's go ahead and let's normal summon... Cyber Valley. Mm -hmm. And pass right. the turn. All right. During the end phase. Okay. I have a Zoma. That is fine. Um, stand by to main. Sure. All right. I'm going to start by putting Zoma into attack mode. Then I'm going to sack off Flex Slime for Malicious Edge. I'm going to go to... Let's get a set first. Then I'm going to go to the battle phase. Sure. I uh, will have Malicious Edge attack your Marauding Captain. We'll go for Waboku. All right. Guess I'll pass there. All right. I will draw. Go standby. Reveal. Go to main phase. Reveal face up card. <laughs> and I'll set a card. I forgot we can do that. Oh, uh, true. True. <laughs> Excuse you. I'll go battle phase. And... Excuse you. Uh, I'll declare <laughs> the Cyber Valley effect. All right. Which one? Uh, the one that uh, I target a face-up hey. monster that I control. Banish both. Draw two. Draw two. Okay. It's fine. I'll summon <laughs> I will normal summon Cyber Valley. Oh, okay. And I'll set a card. And back to you. Uh, standby to main. Sure. I'm just gonna go battle. Sure. And I'll swing with Zoma. I'll declare the effect. That's fine. Oh, this card gets banished. 
Never mind. Banish it instead. Okay. Now I draw a card. And I will enter there. All right. I will draw. Go stand by. Same old song and dance. Another 500. Same old story. Same old copyright strike. <laughs> Gonna play some Steven Tyler on this episode. I ain't, I ain't got a mouth for that. No. Or a, 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 fix, a, a fill, affliction for questionably aged women. Yeah. We won't go there. Let's uh, let's activate my skill. I'll pitch one. And I'll declare spell. So discard or send a spell from deck to a graveyard. All right. And I'll just pass it back. Okay. Stand by the man. Sure. I'm going to attempt to swing in with... That is not what I wanted to do. I mean, you can get rid of it. I'm, I'm okay with that. How dare you? I have to put it back in my spell and trap zone for some reason first. Then I can move it up. And I got to put the goddamn stats back on it. <laughs> Jesus. Battle phase cool? Battle phase is fine. Swing in with Zoma. Uh, I'll activate security orb. Okay. So it goes to defense. Yes. I will swing in with malicious edge. Draining shield. Okay. Enjoy your life points while they last. Yeah, it's over 9,000. Pass turn. All right, I will draw. Standby phase. Mm -hmm. Aha! <laughs> Enjoy your life points while they last. All right, we'll go to main phase. It's yeah. over 10,000. I'll set a card and I'll pass it back. Standby to main. I'll put Zoma back in attack mode. Okay. I okay. will go battle. Sure. I will swing in with Zoma. Thinking about it. I am thinking about it. I'll take a real game. hard. Sure. Okay. Ah, oh, your bar didn't go down at all. Look at that. Nope. Maybe it will when I try to hit you for 26. I'll take it. Oh. Okay. I'll pass turn. All right. I will draw. We'll go standby phase. Yep, gain your thousand. And we'll go main phase. I feel like I've done more damage to you in these this episode of Speed Duel than I've done in the past like seven episodes <laughs> of Revision combined. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> I'll just pass there. All right. Stand by to main. Sure. Uh, let's go. Let's go to battle. Okay. Attempt for Zoma. I'll activate Windstorm. Okay. That will end my turn. I will draw. We'll go do the standby phase. Riveting content here, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome. <laughs> you can always trust Dakota to bring you classic Yu-Gi-Oh content. <laughs> <laughs> From here, we'll just uh, set a card. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll activate Zoma. Interesting. Pass the turn. Okay. Standby to main. That is fine. I'm going to activate Night Beam. Target. Targeting Yahoo. Uh, in response, I'm going to activate Waboku. Okay. Piece of shit, you. Yeah, you're not going to double Night Beam, night beam um, me again, man. Get out of here. You piece of shit, you. How do you know I'm going to double Night Beam you? I know you're holding on to your cards. Maybe I'm just uh trying to get some good damage in here. Maybe my cards are just so bad, they're not even worth playing. They're just better in my hand. We're going to start by putting these in attack mode. Sure. I'm going to play Fiend Sanctuary to get a token. Sure. Then I'm going to sack the token for another malicious edge. That is fine. Okay. Battle phase. That is fine. I will hit you with Zoma. It can't die. Can't die? I activated Woboku. Oh, right. Yeah, never mind. I take no battle damage and my monster stays alive. Okay, never mind. Um, and turn. All right, I will draw. Let's go stand by. Yeah, totally forgot about the Wabaku. <laughs> we'll go to main phase. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll put this to attack mode. And I will set a card. Pass it back. Okay. Stand by to main. That is fine. I'm going to activate Night Beam on your set. That is fine. Okay. I'm going to go battle phase. Sure. And I am going to hit you with a big one. All right. So this is six, two, so eight. It's 800, and I will take a big one. Then I will attack directly for 26. 
Okay. Attack for 18. Okay. Wow, you're back to starting root. Look at that. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> it only took all of that. <laughs> Well, at least I know what the two cards in your hand are, and more likely than not, the card you're gonna you're gonna draw is gonna be a back row. So, I will draw. At least your turn is predictable. <laughs> the whole game's been pretty predictable. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right. I'll reveal these. You want to shuffle it so I know which one's <laughs> not the back row you're gonna set? <laughs> <laughs> not really. Yeah. Oh. I'll pass. I wonder what that could be. Stand by to main. <laughs> That is fine. Okay, I will re-declare Zoma. Uh, I will take it. Okay. I will declare Malicious Edge 1. Draining Shield. All right. I will declare Malicious Edge 2. I will take it. Okay. I will pass turn. Right. I will draw. We'll go standby. Well, this is really a race <laughs> against the clock now for me. It is. Uh, You already know I have them. Reveal, gain yeah, a thousand. Just gain your thousand. Uh, we'll go to main phase. Is that a card pass? Uh, possibly, yeah. Either that or it's Cyber Valley. I wish I had Cyber Valley. What you thinking hard about? It should be easy. Yeah, you think it'd be easy. <laughs> There's just like these subtle nuances about my deck. You know what I mean? Boy, if I played Jinzo, you'd be so fucked. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Good thing it's at one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not like you don't have the, the time to, to draw it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. What have I seen from you so far? Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm going to go on a gamble here. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, there's no way I can win this game. Okay. I don't have a card that stalls. Depending on what's in your deck, I might be able to win. Okay. Let's see. I don't even know what's in my deck currently. I'll activate my skill. All right. Are you pitching all three in a gamble? I'm pitching all oh, three. We're gambling today, boys. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to declare spell. Spell. Okay. Unfortunately for you, I only have one spell card. God damn it. The other two are traps. I will tell you that because this game is now over then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. I good. like it though, dude. That was nice. <laughs> good game, man. <laughs> that was nice, dude. <laughs> See, it's all about power. <laughs> ah, I, not only was I able to summon a god card like four times, three times. Yeah. Uh, when I wasn't able to get any with the other two, but I was able to make it win. Malicious Edge was honestly a hell of a side card. I really needed that. Uh, yeah, that, that card uh, definitely changes the tempo and requires me to have an answer for it. And like, a lot and of my cards aren't really answers. They just like slow it down a little well, bit. That's the thing too. To be honest, I was totally okay taking that Zoma hit because I knew you hadn't like you had played nothing to burn me at this point. Yeah. So and I was like, I've seen most of your decks. So I'm very comfortable taking that big hit because I don't think you can actually take my life points. Uh, no, not really. At least not easily. No. Uh, pretty much like the goal of this was to stop attack. Uh, keep my stuff uh, on the field. Uh, just slow down the game a little bit. And then Golden Ladybug to keep me alive longer. The Cyber Valley skipping the battle phase. Uh, but uh, something I didn't get to establish in this was that uh, a goal of mine was that there was a, the one game, or maybe both of them, where like I had the Marauding Captain already in hand. If I drew mm -hmm. another one, I can use Marauding Captain, special Marauding Captain, and now you can't attack at all. Oh, wow. I don't think... Because technically, like, the cards protect each other. So, like, you can't attack one without attacking the other, and the other one's already protected. And I only have one out to that. Bloodgate. Uh, uh yeah. Um, you, I saw you had Soul Exchange, so, like, you could tribute over it. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. But, uh, yeah. So, Actually, no, I didn't. I sided Soul Exchange out. Oh, uh, okay, so that... I also, I also sided out two of my three Floodgates. Okay. So I only had literally one out to that. Yeah, like the only thing that you saw that was worth hitting was the uh, Cyber Valley. Yeah. Which even um, then, like to me, like Cyber Valley, it, it's better to get the draw off of it and to like end the battle phase. But I mean, the fact that I have the body there to protect me, even if it gets floodgated, it's not like the end of the world. Yeah. If you want to know what my set card was, it was Hero Emerges. Yeah. I was saving. I had multiple ways to summon the Malicious Edge. So I had that on the field. I had um, Metal or Fiend. I had Fiend Sanctuary in my hand. 
I had metal reflect slime in my hand and I also had a reactor slime in my hand. So I had multiple ways to get that last malicious edge out. Well, I, I was just waiting. And I kind of realized after a while, I think like midway through game two, I, I finally realized I don't think Obelisk was the prime strategy. I think the prime strategy was to go turbo assault. Like I needed to hit you as hard as possible, as fast as possible. Since you were continuously keeping your back row full, it was depleting your hand. So the depleted hand means you have, you're less viable to use your skill and try to deck me out that way. Uh, but it also means if I can draw onto those night beams, I can get, I can out them like I did in game two and not have to worry about it and go in for a, a big attack. Yeah, uh, besides- That was my mistake game one, I think, was I was too subdued game one. Besides Obelisk, the, the scariest card that you had was Night Beam because you, you can't really answer to it. No. But another reason for like, so like Obelisk is actually scary. I didn't even think about this until after the fact, but some of these cards actually target, um, even something like Negate Attack, it targets the monster. Yeah. But yeah, like Security Orb targets, Negate Attack targets, uh, Draining Shield targets. But uh, I, I saw that uh, towards the end why this card has, the, the, my skill card specifically has an issue, which is you don't know what's left in your opponent's deck. Yeah. I, I think it's a good way to get you down there, but it's not really a good way to clutch the game and finish it. Right. Um, I mean, maybe there's like different cards that I could have played instead uh, to do the, the same oh. effect in terms of like slowing down the game and stalling it out or something like that. But yeah. Um, I mean, like, I don't know. You could probably even play, like, um, a burn engine in this or something and play, like, Lava Golem just to get rid of annoying cards and then just stall oh, the yeah. Lava Golem. And then, dude, like, if you don't win by you... deck out, you could win by burn, but... Yeah, dude, if, like, this is game three. If you had played Lava Golem, you probably would have won if you were able to summon him. Well, I did it already. I don't want to do it again. Um, yeah, this is, like, still an, an annoying thing that you had to deal with, and I'm sorry for that, but... uh. I, I just thought that it would be like super weird to like try something like this. And the fact that you're also playing 30 cards too, it's like, even if the you're not even using the skill card to its full potential, so you only use it once and you only discarded one card. So you only ripped one card out of their deck. The fact that you're playing 30, regardless, if you can keep the game going, you're gonna win by deck out anyway. Yeah, definitely. You know, honestly, I kind of like these games though. They were kind of like internal chess games for me. I had to like, I had to really like consider my plays yeah and like like get the right cards before i even tried to do anything i also want to point out that uh this is probably the most efficient skill card for playing gods oh definitely because like the, the ability to the, the ability to search it from deck or bring it back from graveyard was key because like you like you saw you just declared monster for your skill a couple times i would just discard the obelisk and then bring it back to my hand quick yeah i i knew you and were gonna i would keep i would keep the deck stuff with other things at the time that I did that, I knew you were going to uh, ditch the two gods, um, but I also knew that you were going to have to ditch the slime. And my thinking was I had a good enough trap that I could have survived uh, from the traps I had on field. That's not even including what I'm going to draw. So if I wanted to, I could just use the skill again and have you ditch the last of the reactor slimes. And as soon as you lose that, you kind of lose your tribute fodder pretty much. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I should have probably just been focusing on the spell cards. Um, you would probably just ditch, like, the card advance and maybe, like, the thing sanctuaries. Yeah, card um, advance was always a ditch for me. Um, and, yeah, the peen sinks. It got to the point, I think it was uh, game, it was game two or game three. And my deck was down to, like, a couple cards. It might have been game three. And I had all three of my night beams still and card advance. So when you called spell, I was like, oh, I know immediately what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of those night beams. All right, guys, that's going to bring an end to this episode. Thanks again for watching. Again, if you liked the video, like, comment down below. We want to see your feedback. Also, hit the subscribe button. Stay up to date for more content just like this. We do revision once a week, and we do two fast, two duelists once a week with the occasional master duel video as well. Cody, any closing thoughts? Um, yeah, so this is my second uh, win in a row now, and I did that once before on two fast, two duelists. So look forward to me winning again in seven or eight weeks. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Deuces. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I do the intro now, don't I? Yeah, for speed duel. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs>